One of the simplest and most effective ways of propagating a lot species of cacti at home conditions is using their cuttings. If it takes several years to grow a cactus from a seed, then it takes a maximum of a few months to root the cuttings. The optimal period for vegetative propagation is the end of winter, that is, before the start of the growing season. The old single-stemmed mammillaria has developed some sprouts. Separate them from the mother plant at the thinnest point of attachment. Consider a special case. Last year we grafted a part of the stem of the mammillaria cactus, and this year couple of sprouts have already begun to grow. They are also separated from the mother plant at the thinnest point of attachment. Rebutia cactus quickly grows old and loses its shape, while it can easily be propagated vegetatively. The propagation procedure for notocactus is similar, but the root formation of the cuttings takes a long time. In nature and in culture Rebutia cactus can easily be propagated by cuttings with no problems at all. Cuttings are often recommended to air dry for several days, but we plant them immediately because of the use of sterilized soil mixture for cacti and will continue to contain cuttings in the recommended care conditions. The soil mixture is 60% composed of minerals. We carry out the first watering in a month, the subsequent watering with an interval of 2 weeks. Illumination is 40% diffused sunlight. Temperature is from 18 to 30 degrees Celsius. Root formation period is up to 1 month and in the case of notocactus up to 3 months. There are cacti, for example, such as Astrophytum, which are vegetatively propagated only by grafting. They practically do not develop their own roots. Of course, there are some exceptions, but in general, they don't. So, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button below and try to propagate cacti using their cuttings. I wish you good luck and see you in the next episode.